everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Katie and I post videos every Monday and Thursday and I do apologize for not posting last Thursday. Craziness, life gets in the way. I have so many freelancing gigs last week that I just got so caught up in other things. So I do apologize that I did not post a video last Thursday. But anyway, happy Monday. I'm so happy to have you with me today. Before you leave today, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. <laughs> and for today's video, we are going to talk about my monthly favorites. And I really truly love all of these products like to a T. I pretty much honestly use the same things a lot every day. We all know this if you guys have been with me for a while. I very rarely do monthly favorites, but I really do love these products. Not a whole lot. I mean, I don't want this video to be insanely long, but these guys are tried, true, tested, and Let's get into it. This is how we do it on Put Your Makeup On. If you want to know my monthly favorites, then just keep watching. The first favorite, I'll get my nails done. Look at the color. What do you guys think? I definitely wanted to do something bright and summery, and I love it. So, I love my nails. I'm sorry. So anyway, okay, so about my monthly favorites. I am obsessed with this blush. It is actually featured in the... Um, Beauty Insider um, Happy Birthday Thingy Mabobber at Sephora. So if you are a Beauty Insider with us, check it out. And I have the Tarte Blush in the shade Party, which there's like a million A's, so it's like Party. Sounds so weird to say it like that. But anyway, um, one of the Amazonian Clay blushes, it's a little mini size. They do actually make it in the regular full size. But this color is just so universally flattering and I feel that whatever type of color of shadow or lip color that I wear it's just gorgeous the Amazon clay blushes are I think they're like 16 hour I think they're waterproof oh, I'm sorry 12 hour still long lasting regardless and I just love the color it's a beautiful blush that doesn't fade throughout the day um, I definitely can get through a full work day. I love products that I can get through a full work day with them on and I don't have to worry about touching up. I'm all about longevity for my makeup and I just, I just love the color. It's just, and it blends in just really, really nicely. So I love it. Of course they have a million other colors, um, in their line, but the happy birthday gift. So if you are a beauty insider and it is your birthday month, um, definitely don't forget to then go to Sephora to pick up your birthday gift. So, A plus for me. Mascara. Holy bejesus, this mascara is absolutely the most voluminous mascara. One of the best that I've ever tried. Um, I mean, there's millions of other mascaras that I've tried that I do like, but this one is like current favorite at the moment. It is the YSL The Shock Mascara which looks like this, and I love the wand of this. It looks kind of funky, I'm not going to lie to you. It basically looks like this, and something about it, it just makes the lashes just so voluminous. It's hugging every single solitary lash. Lashes you didn't even know you had. I can get away with about mm, like two, three, pushing it four coats, and I... No clumping, no flaking throughout the day, and I, whenever I go to wear this just by itself, I'm always getting acts if I'm wearing falsies. I'm like, oh no, these are mine. Thanks though. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a volume, something new to try, because I know, again, there's so many different mascara brands on the market now these days, so definitely check it out. So I did a whole video about this BB cream that I'm going to mention next, and I actually have been wearing it ever since I did that video, and it is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. Holy schmoly, this BB cream, I keep wanting to say foundation. You're a BB cream, not a foundation. This BB cream is spectacular, amazing on oily skin. I feel like if you were on the drier side, you would have to really make sure you're properly moisturizing. But I gotta say, I would only really recommend this for oily skin. I do have the shade light medium, and two, three days after I filmed that video, I actually did pick up the light color, the light shade, which is actually way better for me. Um, but I'm still going to keep both regardless because I know when like July and August come around, I am going to get a darker. Just makes your skin just so like 
porcelain-like. Like, my pores are virtually gone. Even when I'm not using a pore-minimizing primer, um, I don't know. It's just, it's just so amazing. And I definitely feel, you know, again, I'm all about longevity. Like, if this, could, I can make this work through a full work day, seven, eight hours in, no oiliness throughout the day, it is definitely a gold star standard in my collection. I really do love it. I will have the video linked down below in case you want to see and see it in action. I definitely think it's worth checking out. Again, if you are only oily side, nice and affordable as well. And I, I just really love it and I'm really happy that I have now a drugstore affordable option to uh, recommend for you guys if you're oily. Next we have here is a powder, and this powder I have just forgot how amazing it was. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I just have so much makeup after a while that I forget what I have. I'm being honest with you. And this guy from Benefit, it is the Hello Flawless Powder, and I am in the shade... I'm cute as a bunny honey. I love that name. Their names are just so adorable. But this powder, I definitely hit pan on it. You guys could see how much I love it. But this powder, I feel with this, is just like a beautiful combination. I can wear this powder by itself. It gives amazing coverage. Never going to look powdery or cakey or makeup-y. Nice fluffy brush. And I just love it to death so much. It has like that beautiful like silky softness to it and I definitely think it's worth checking out. I know a powder is a little bit like you know like boring to see on camera but you know if you guys are maybe looking for a new powder I mean this is Pest Powder has been out for a couple of years now I think it's been but um I definitely think it is worth it. Next to last product I have is an eyeliner and this is actually a newer eyeliner from the brand Hourglass and this is their, what do you even call it? The Voyeur? I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. I cannot pronounce names and words for the life of me. Um, waterproof Liquid Liner. And I love anything waterproof. I did a whole video on waterproof makeup. I will have that linked down below like always. I love waterproof makeup. It's like amazing. Um, but this, it has a traditional felt tip, you know, nothing new and different. But I gotta say, I mean, this just makes that line, that, that cat eye, so much easier because I feel that the actual tip of the applicator is just so precise and thin. It just makes any cat eye, even if you wanted to go from inner corner to outer corner, super um, easy. And you could even see, like, I'm rubbing, and that only has been on my hand for a couple seconds. And that's not going anywhere. I love demonstrating this on my clients. Whenever I do this, they're like, oh, done, I'll buy it. So I just really love how long-lasting it is. And I really do love also the packaging and nice and slim. And I know, again, there's so many brands on the market that are similar to this. But, you know, if you're looking for something new and different, definitely worth checking out Hourglass. The last product I have here is from Bare Minerals. And I really do love their products. I feel like a lot of their products they feel are not talked about as often as they should be and this is actually a newer product. I haven't actually seen a lot of people talk about this. This is their Invisible Glow Highlighter and they have three different shades. This is their Fair to Light shade and definitely reminds me a little bit of the ambient lighting powders from Hourglass but this powder, it's a highlighter powder, it just gives that beautiful like ever so slight like sheen to the skin. I mean it's going to be kind of hard to pick it up on camera um because my lights are kind of on the bright side today but on the high cheekbones it just gives that beautiful like ethereal angel like glow. It's definitely it's not chunky by any means. It's not sparkly by any means. It's just so beautiful and so effortless to wear and I could pack it on as much as I want and it never looks overly crazy. I feel these days everyone wants to glow to the gods, which I mean, don't get me wrong, I like to go to the gods as well, but there are some days where, you know, I don't want to glow that much, especially, you know, when I'm looking greasy and shiny because I'm really oily, but this powder, I really definitely think it's worth checking out. If you were maybe new to the highlighter game and not really sure where to start, and if you feel like a lot of products are just way too pigmented out there, I definitely feel this is a 
beautiful highlighter to for like beginners maybe so I definitely think it's worth checking out again they have three different shades this is the fair to light I think there's like a light to medium and like a tan to dark highlight um so again depending on your skin tone so I really do love it and I I'm so happy that I have it in my collection so that is pretty much all of my favorites quick simple to the point that's what I like to do because again I don't want these videos to be a thousand years long let me know in the comments down below what are some of your monthly favorites so I could check it out and of course all of the products will be listed down below like always don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and if you like monthly favorites don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so I know and that is pretty much all I have for today's video. I thank you so much for watching and have a, a great night.